Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another Freed review. This time we're taking a look at the Tennessee Walker. I'm a few days late with this one. Um, I just haven't had time to record anything. So, um, But I, I did buy this one actually. I didn't record that on camera this time. But I, I, I was debating between a few of the coats because they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think all the coats are super, super pretty and super well made. Um, but I, I decided on this one. So his name is Night Strider. Um, and I guess we'll just have a look uh, at his gates and his animations. I will say though, um, I, I don't have any in real life experience with Tennessee walkers. We don't really have gated horses or we have gated horses, but not these types of gated horses in Sweden. Um, I've been trying to look at a few videos, trying to get my like an opinion and try to educate myself on what's um, kind of the breed standard. Um, and I guess what I'm trying to say is I'll have a look at like, okay, does this look legit or is it like not? Kind of like what we talked about with the bajans and like, you know, the hind legs and stuff like that. So we will have a look. Um, I do have quite high hopes for this horse. Um, I haven't looked at it much. I haven't ridden this one at all. Um, and I, I mean, I've seen people ride it around, but um, I, I've quite high hopes from it because I've seen that it is uh, Nomi who's made it and she has made some of my absolute favorite horses uh, previously like the Arabians and the paint horses for example and I think those are super well made so I'm very excited for this one. I don't want to say I have high hopes but I, I do. <laughs> I kind of do. Um, just like off the bat I think the model itself is really nice. This is a super nice outline. Um, I think it looks nice um, from what I've seen from the pictures and from the videos it looks to be a pretty accurate Whoa, what was, what was that little tail shimmy? From what I've seen from pictures and footage, I it seems to be pretty um, breed accurate. It's a pretty thin breed, it's a slim breed. Um, I haven't looked at the size, but it feels pretty small. I haven't compared it to any, anything else, but I might have to take a look at that. It feels pretty small, but I, I don't mind it. It's a very elegant breed and I, I like it. I, I like looking at it. It looks very proud and has a really like long neck with a long, um, pretty flat um, shoulder, which appears to be the breed standard. And I mean, they're meant to be kind of carrying themselves really neck high and stuff like that. So, um, I think this is really nice. Okay. So it, he's like swishing his tail, but it looks really weird from the side. That's a cute animation. I, I like how fluid that animation of the tail is. It really feels like it's like weighted. It's really nice. Um, yeah, like I said, the idle animation is super nice. I, I like looking at this horse. Um, I've posted, <laughs> I posed with him for pictures and stuff, but I think it looks really nice. So I guess we'll just uh, start right off the bat with the walk, um, which feels pretty springy. I mean, it's a gated horse, so it's not. It's expected that it's, it has quite a lot of movement. Um, also, the head bobbing is apparently kind of a thing for Tennessee walkers, which is, I find really interesting. Um, like I don't really have much to say about this. Um, I think it looks nice. I think it, it's a nice walk. I will say, looking at it when when it's walking, it feels... I didn't really feel that when they were standing still, but walking, it feels like the th legs are maybe like a little bit thick in comparison, but that might just be like me not being used to this model, so I don't want to say that that's like, oh, it's wrong. <laughs> it just feels a little bit unfamiliar. So this is just as much as a of a learning process or a learning like curve as it is for you guys watching this so I'm, I'm like discovering this breed properly for the first time which is really exciting it's super cool to learn more about them <clears throat> but I think the walk is really nice um it's really cute they're really pretty horses they really are the trot um as with anything I feel like I, f mo I feel like that's most breeds though but it feels like a little bit it doesn't feel super engaged in a way I guess it kind of reminds me almost of the Frisians like the Gen 3 Frisians, because it's like he's barely leaving the ground in a way that feels like he's not pushing off. And the Tennessee Walkers don't really do that, apparently. Like, it's not kind of like a dressage horse, warm blood kind of thing that's like really pushing off the ground. They do have flat gates. But, and that's fine, but it's more like of the case of it doesn't feel like anything. It feels a little bit heavy. It, it feels a little bit like sluggish, I guess. Um, but. Again, I, I think it looks nice. It's nothing like, nothing I'm reacting to massively that's like, oh, what is this, you know? Uh, ooh. Is this head bob characteristic? Because <laughs> that feels very weird. Wait, I need to have a look at a video. Hold on. I feel like I need to have a look at that 
to verify because that felt really weird. Okay, this is a really old video. And like what I'm seeing here, it looks like it's supposed to be very fluid. Um, I guess this is like, like it's just a lot of movement, a lot of leg movement, but it looks to be a very steady and smooth ride. Let's see, what is this one then? Maybe the other canter maybe? Oh, what is, oh, okay, let's not look at the writing. I just want to see the movement. Like it has a lot of movement in the head or like in the body. This one seems like looks more like the um, like the movement in the game, like the kind of a little bit more collected than the other one, uh, the the Pinto we just watched. But it's like it's still like a fluid motion where it's like moving in a way that I guess makes sense in my uh, like from what I'm seeing. Um, it's so interesting. I I really love watching these things. Like, it has a little bit of a head bob, but in the game it's so extreme. Like, this feels like it's a lot, you know? Maybe it's not. Um, and someone, someone who's more experienced or has experience with Tennessee walk courses, feel free to correct me, but this feels a little bit exaggerated. Like, looking at a few videos now, it feels like they should be a lot more um, smooth and fluid in the motion. Like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, please. But, um, yeah, that, that's, uh, it just felt a little bit weird. Um, but, uh, the canter itself, if I'm looking past the head bobbing, it feels nice. Feels, like, okay, I think. Um, has a, a lot more, like, engagement in the hind legs than what the, like, the Belgian and the Pasofino have. And from my understanding, it's not the same person. Um, I don't think Nomi made those. Um, but it's just, like... It looks better, I think. If I'm being really picky, that right hind leg feels like it stretches like really far forward or far sorry far backwards, like a little bit more than what the rest of the legs kind of indicate, like how much movement there should be. If that makes sense, like if you look at the uh, the rest of the legs, it doesn't feel like it's extending its canter that much, but then because it's like the if you look at this left leg it doesn't extend as much which feels a little bit strange i guess but that's like if i'm being super super picky that's like my only thing it feels a little bit uh, just like it stretches a little bit too far but that's just like a tiny thing but yeah it's just the head bobbing it feels like it's a little bit much um it feels like it's exaggerated and i guess it maybe it is to make a point but it's like um not something i'm a huge fan of i guess but that's fine let's see uh oh it's a very smooth uh, middle canter. I guess the only thing is like it feels like it's not uh, moving the shoulder a lot. Again, super picky. I know, I know. You don't have to comment that. <laughs> it's the, it's not a case of the fact that I'm never satisfied. It's the fact that the horses look so good now that I feel like I'm able to be this picky. Like I could never sit up on like a nap stopper or something. And look at these things because it would be pointless because the horse itself is not like the quality of the horse itself is not that good at all so that those details wouldn't matter but these horses do look so good and they are really good that I feel like it can afford that type of criticism again it's like the hind legs move a lot if you look at the hind knees it's, it's like there's a lot of movement there which I think is fine it's just like it doesn't really match with the shoulders in my opinion and as a gated horse i feel like they should be moving a little bit more on their shoulders but that's like again picky but the again i feel like the the movement of the head and stuff it feels really fluid and nice and i, I like that so in general i like the the movement so far so let's take a look at the fastest canter then Ooh, i really like how much it like how much ground it covers in the stride like it feels like it has a really long stride see this if you look at the hind legs here if you if you remember if you ever watched my my belgian video what i talked about with the belgians in the extended canter was that they felt like they were crouching in their hind legs because it felt like they never really stretched out and pushed off that's what this horse does here like see how much it stretches out and has like almost straight legs like it really pushes off the ground i re i really like this extended canter it's super nice because i mean the extended canter is going to be the one that you're riding around in 
So it's good that that's the canter that looks really, really nice. I really like this, actually. I do. Like, yeah, look at this. It, like, it looks nice. I guess it's the, it's the, like, the hind knee, um, area here that feels like it's, like, there's a lot of movement going on in all of the gates, in, like, specifically the hind knees, and maybe, like, is that accurate, you know? But I, I really like that. I, I like this, this canter. I like this horse in general, I must say. Um, let's put up some jumps and, like, just have a look. Because I feel like it's easier to look over jumps than it is to just, like, jump over nothing. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, let's start off with the collective canter, I guess. Let's see if we can nail these. Head bob is weird. Ooh. Um, the jump is initially quite nice. It's just like, it's like he kind of loses his balance, but I guess it's not really a jumping horse. It's a gated horse, so it like, kind of makes sense. Let's see if we can get a picture of this. Um... Like, this is fine. I think it looks okay. Maybe, like, a little bit hyperextended. But I guess that's kind of what happens with the Arabians as well. So I can kind of see that pattern here. It's just this here. It feels like it. he would need to, like, relax his head a little bit more. Because it feels like he's kind of cramping up. And it's like, oh, God. You know? But uh, I guess that's my only... This this uh, this jump is fine. The short jump is fine. I, I don't mind it. I really don't. Let's see what the middle canter looks like. Oh, that's very nice, actually. I like that. Like, it's smooth. It has a nice... It's got, like, a nice form, kind of. Um, over fences. Throws a nice shape. Oh, God, I'm not gonna fit. Oh, I did. Oh, my God. That's nice. That's a nice jump, I think. Let's see if we can get a picture. Just, like, it's easier to kind of slow it down and have a look. Um, yeah, I mean, it jumps really nice, actually. But I think Nomi's really good at making jumping horses. Like, both the, uh, the Arabians and the uh, paint horses jump really well. Um, which I like. <laughs> which is probably why those are, like, some of my favorite horses. But this is really nice, actually. I like this. It just feels very authentic. Like, it's not an... Um, like, it's obvious, like... It's not like he opens up, like, crazy over the fences or something. Like, the Bajan kind of does. Kind of, like, kicks out his legs, which I like. Which makes sense for that horse. Because it's, like, a jumper, so it's supposed to be f powerful. Um, this is not... Uh, I mean, this is, like... This is this horse jumps like an average horse, I think. It, it jumps really nice. It jumps good. But it's, like, yeah. This is a horse that is jumping. <laughs> it's, like... It's really, really nice. I like that. <clears throat> Let's see if we can... Um, Get some jumps in over the ah, in the extended. This looks a little bit funky. It feels like. Um, let's see if we can get that on picture. It feels like he's leaving his hind legs a little bit behind. Um, it's like he's in this position for too long. Might have to slide down for the video. Sorry, my camera just like freaked out on me. It's just like, it feels like he's kind of, it looks like oh, he's almost back heavy. And not in the case of like, oh, he's kind of um, clenching his legs a little bit and kind of like tucking him under himself. It just feels like he's, uh, <laughs> it's like he's dragging himself a little bit. Like, it feels like the, the, the hind legs aren't turning through at all. But it like instills, it looks kind of fine. But if you just look at it from the side, I feel like it looks a little bit funky. Yeah, that's like my only thing. It feels like he's kind of dragging his legs a little bit. Or like it's it's like the animation is like delayed. It almost looks for a split second like he's going to like almost land um, with all four feet on the ground at the same time. Overall. Oh yeah, we're going to... Oh yeah, there's a special gate as well. Um, oh yeah, so this was... I was told that this was called a running walk. Um... And this is one of the special gates. And, I mean, I can't say much about it. Because I obviously can't judge the gates. Um, the, like, their special gates. But I feel like, uh, from the videos that I saw, I feel like this looks really accurate. Um, it might be a little bit slow, but I'm also level 1. So it's like, makes sense. Um, 
this is a really cool gate. I think, um, I obviously don't know what's characteristic for it. Like, is it, it looks like it's almost like a, I mean, it's, it borders on a, on a trot. Like, it almost looks like he's pacing right now, which is really interesting. Um, and in a pace, you have the horses, like, both the left legs or the left feet, I guess, are, like, hitting the ground at the same time. And both right at the same time and so on. I know they call hoofs. I'm just, like, the feet, you know. Um... And this one is like, it almost borders on that, which is super fascinating, but it looks really smooth. It looks um, really cool. I feel like in this gate, it makes sense to have the uh, the head bob like this, like that much, because you can see how it's like, he's really shifting his weight a lot. Um, and I like the little detail of his little ears kind of like wobbling a bit. I like that. That's really cute. Is that in the trot too? It is. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I really like the little ear wobbles. That's so adorable. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the rear as well. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. As always, as like, I don't have much to say about it. It's probably not something I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures of because it just looks like. It looks like the horse is rearing because I'm, like, pulling on the bit a lot. The way he's tossing his head forward. Or, like, up, back. He's not rearing by bringing his shoulders up. He's rearing by kind of, like, almost losing his balance and going like this. <laughs> it's like he scares himself. Um, so, I guess if you put, like, uh, like the new western bridles that came out. If you put that on him and do that, it's just gonna look like you've yanked the reins super hard. And that's why he's doing that. Which is, like... I mean, I don't like that. <laughs> it's like, that looks a little bit unfortunate, but, um, see the sliding stop as well. That's really nice. Um, it feels very smooth. Yeah, I have nothing to say about that. That looks really nice. Yeah, the backing up. Oh, it, it looks like the, the front legs are, like, snapping a little bit. It feels like he's like really stomping backwards, but like the animation is clipping a bit. Um, in I guess like all of the legs, but especially in the front. I will say I really like this horse. Um, I think it looks really nice. I think it. Um, it's just like it has really nice smooth gates. I guess the only thing that um I'm bothered by is the the head bob in the collected canter, but. Um, if anyone, if anyone knows, like, is that really, um, intentional? Is that, like, characteristic for the breed, like, that much? Then, awesome, <laughs> you know? It's just, like, it looks a little bit, um, to me, it looks a little bit uncomfortable and, like, I don't want to say unnatural, but, like, you know? So, but I like it. I, I like the horse, I will say. Um, I guess, uh, just like we did with the Belgians, we'll, uh, we'll have a test race just to feel, like, how it feels to ride. Actually, there's a championship going, so we might as well do that. <laughs> Let's turn on the snow, actually. Just riding around on him like this feels really nice, I must say. Um, it feels like a very smooth and fluid horse. And like I said, I, I really like the extended canter, um, which is really nice. Because, I mean, it's always a shame when you don't like those gates. Because those are the gates, or like that's the gate that you're going to be riding around in a lot. Um... So, I, I will say, I really like this horse, actually. I didn't think I was going to, um, just because, like I said, I don't have any experience with gated horses, and, like, I don't, it's not really something that interests me. So, um, but I will say they're super pretty. Um, they, they jump nice, which is always a big plus for me. A horse that jumps nice can, like, surpass everything else. Um, but it's just, yeah, I, it's, I really like it, and it's super pretty, um, and I really like how smooth it looks um i will say i like the poses thank you it is really picture friendly <laughs> which is also unfortunate because that probably means that i'm going to be spending more star coins <laughs> getting more coats because it looks super super nice um all of the coats are lovely we can have a look at those in a second but i just i really love them i really do which makes me very happy because um it's always fun when you do like the horses that um, come out as someone who's a chronic horse buyer <laughs> I I love buying horses I love buying new horses I love taking pictures of them I love riding around on them so this is uh, this is good for me but bad for my economy <laughs> it feels really smooth actually like it just feels really nice to ride and I feel like it um, 
It turns nice, it jumps nice, it feels fluid to ride, and it has like a really nice... I mean, obviously they've updated the uh, turning animations now, but it still feels really smooth. Kind of, it's a smooth ride and I, I like it. Um, it feels like a horse that I'm going to be riding a lot, you know? Um, some horses aren't, but this one definitely is. Um, so that makes me really happy. Well, let's just have a look at the other codes. I just want to like... Um, since I bought these off camera. This is the one that I bought and I honestly I could have bought any of these because they're all so pretty. I really had my eyes on this one. Um, looks really nice. Um, I really like the, this um, Tobero. Is that what it is? Sorry, I'm terrible with horse colors. I just ride them. <laughs> um, the black one is really nice but I have a lot of black horses. This one's really cool. I guess this one's, this one's kind of like, is it like a champagne color? Super nice anyways. Super cool. Um, I really like the dapple gray. I'm just waiting for like a really specific type of dapple gray because um, I have one in real life and I would really like one that looks like her a little bit. The rest, I mean, like, I'm tempted to buy this one, really tempted to buy this one. <laughs> Same with this. And this one is like a unique kind of coat, one that I don't have from before. So it's like, maybe. <laughs> I will say that this is a super nice horse that I really like. Um, I will be riding it a lot. I will be... Um, like I'll be taking a ton of pictures and it's like, yeah, I just, I love the horse. It looks super nice. Um, I will say. So I was very positively surprised about this. Not that I thought it was going to be bad. It's just like, it's just, I didn't think it was going to be for me. I mean, it's gorgeous. I love it. I feel like I'm really, yeah, I'm a big fan of this horse. I will admit, like, I really am. Um, I think they look super nice. It's such an elegant horse, and I love the way that it moves, and I love, um, I, I will say I really like the gates. Um, it's just a collected canter with a head bob, but I mean, if that's breed accurate, then who am I to say that it's wrong, you know? But, um, it feels a little bit maybe exaggerated, and I don't really like that, but the rest is just really nice. I mean, I will say I think, I really do think that Nomi makes some of the best quality horses, um, so I wasn't surprised to see that this one is so well made, um, and... I mean, yeah, wow, what a horse. I really love it. I will definitely be riding this one a lot. Um, but I guess that's it for this video then. Um, this was definitely a bit of a shorter review because I don't really have much to say about it, but I thought I'd still make a video about it, um, kind of sharing my opinion. And my opinion is overwhelmingly positive. Um, <laughs> I think they look super nice. Probably going to be bringing out a few more. Um, yeah, they're so adorable. I love them. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully we get some new breeds soon into the next year so I can make a few more of these because it's super fun to analyze and like have a look at them. But thank you guys so much for watching this video um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.